Hello, everybody. Welcome to my first live. And there we go, and we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my first live. Really excited to do this today. Uh, really excited to have you all here with me. And I'm totally excited for our Olympic week, week four of camp. So before you did Olympic rings with Infinity, which looked like a blast. So now I'm going to be doing Olympic torches with you guys. So I'll show you what I made earlier, my nice little torch here. So I'll be doing one of these with you, taking you step by step through how to make it and how to make it the best you can. So you can have your own personal Olympic torch. So again, I'm really excited to be doing this. Um, this is my first live with Greenway for our summer camp. So don't be shy, leave me a comment, uh, start a conversation with me, I'd love to talk to you guys. And yeah, if you have any questions, comments or concerns, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I'll give it about 30 seconds or so before we get into it, let everybody join that would like to. So I hope everybody is having a great summer so far and enjoyed our first camp box. Uh, so this is our first week of our second camp box of weeks four to six. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff going on in this camp box that I saw. So I'm really excited to be doing those with you guys and for you guys to be doing them at home. So yeah, we're going to have a blast together. I see we have one person in. I'll give it about 30 more seconds. Let a few more people join before we get started. So like I said before, uh, we're going to be doing Olympic torch craft today. So I made one. I'll show you once again my nice little torch here. So mine, I just did it with orange tissue paper. The one we'll be doing is going to be a multicolored one. So we got a lot of different colors of paper. Uh, I feel like it's going to look really cool when it comes out. So I'm really excited to be doing this with you guys. So I think we're good to get started. I'm going to get on to my steps here. So first and foremost, I gotta show you the materials we'll need. So to do this, of course, you'll need a paper towel roll. This will be the base of your torch, which you'll be putting your flame into, and you can hold up high and show off your torch to everybody. So after we got that, you will also need some tape, because we'll be taping our tissue paper together to make our torch. Along with that, we have scissors. Um, if you're using scissors, make sure you have Oh, I'm very quiet. Well, thanks for letting me know, Evelyn. I'll bring this a little closer to me. There we go. How's that? Is that better now? Let me know. If I'm too quiet, too loud, let me know, and I will do my best here. So, like I said, we got our tape as well. we got to get that ready with us. Scissors, um, if you're using scissors, make sure you have parent permission and make sure that you have supervision if you need it and you're using them safely because we do not want anyone hurting themselves. Oh no, you can't hear me. I right, please let me know if it's better now. I'll bring the computer a little closer to me. How's that? Is that any better, guys? Please let me know. I want to make this the best craft I can and make sure that everyone can hear and everyone can follow along. So I'll give a little bit of time just to see, make sure it's good for everybody. Everyone can hear what's going on and I can get through these steps and we can make Olympic torches together. Yes, Infinity, we're good now. Awesome. Sorry about that, guys. So I'll just do a quick little overview. Um, so like I said, we're going through Olympic torches. Uh, so what you will need, tape, a pair of scissors with parent permission, of course, a toilet paper roll or paper towel roll if you'd like a bigger or smaller one. And of course, you will need your tissue paper. So with me, I have yellow, orange, and red. So again, I'm really excited to be getting into these Olympic torches with you guys. And 
yeah, let's get right into it. So now that we have all of our materials with us, let's start off with the tissue paper. So what we'll be doing is we'll start off by cutting. So with it unraveled as big as it is, we're going to cut it in half. So if you have a folded mark on your tissue paper, cut it right along that folded mark. So mine is right here. So I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to be very careful here because of course don't want to hurt myself. Don't want to get any little cuts. So while I'm getting started cutting these in half here, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the Olympic torches. So when they're used at the Olympics, they are brought out when the games first start. So every country that goes to the Olympics picks one person that gets to bring their torch in nice and bright. And they bring it in lit to show that the games are starting and shows that every country there is ready to compete and have a good time. And once the Olympics are finished, those torches then get burnt out. So it shows that the games are over and everyone is ready to go home. So I think that's really cool personally, because this gets us right into the theme of our Olympic weeks. So you guys will all have your own torch to do. So something I want to tell you guys is you can actually use, use tissue paper for this. So as you can see, this one's been cut a few times already. So yeah, it doesn't have to be a perfect new one bought from the store. It can be a little used and we can make do with it. So I'm just going to continue cutting them in half right down the folded line. Yeah, Mickey, I thought that was really cool too when I found that out. So it kind of shows that everyone there is included and they all have their own torch and they're ready to go. So now I have my two sets of paper here, all cut in half, just like I showed you. So now that we got them cut in half, we're going to design our flames. So to do your flames, grab your face paper, sorry, nice and big. And we're going to cut some little triangle designs right across the top. So the part that will be going into your paper towel roll will be this side here, the smaller side. So what I like to do take my paper towel roll, measure it together to see where it will come out. So if I put it about this far in, it'll hang out here. So I want to measure my triangles so that they're the perfect size and that they will show off. Um, something you can do with this to make it a little easier is if you have a marker, a pen, a pencil, you can mark off where you want to cut. So you can make sure you got your triangles just in the right spot. So now that I got mine nice and measured, I know where I want to cut, I'm ready to get started. So I'm going to go on with my triangle designs. So this one, as you can see, my fingers are really close to the scissors. So you want to be super, super careful when you're doing this. So you're not cutting yourself or getting hurt in any way, because of course, that's the last thing we want here. So I'm going to keep on going, cutting out my triangles on my first flame. So yeah, like I said before guys, um, if I'm going too fast, too slow, if I'm too quiet, too loud, let me know and I'll make sure to fix that as quick as I can. I want to make sure everyone can do this and everyone can have a fun time doing this. And also, if you had any questions for me, any comments, anything at all, just let me know and I'll get back to you quickly. So on that note, something that I wanted to share is Olympic sports. So I myself am actually a huge fan of the Olympics. I love when the time comes because I love watching them. Waking up every day and there's something new on every day is really fun and I enjoy it a ton. 
So I wanted to ask everyone in here if you'd like to share your favorite Olympic sport. So mine personally, I would say, hmm, probably hockey. I'm a big hockey fan. So when the winter time comes, I love watching the hockey Olympics. Another one, I would say in the winter, besides hockey, I also love watching snowboarding. I love seeing all the cool tricks that they can do and how fast they go. It's really cool to me. I've actually never once been snowboarding, so I love watching it and seeing what all these other people can do. Some of the best athletes in the world and how they compete. Snowboard half pipe, Nemo. Yeah, it's a cool one. I like doing it too. Not doing it, I like watching it too. Have you ever snowboarded yourself, Nemo? I'd love to know. So I got my orange piece here ready, Ooh, don't want my flames to fall, and I'll show them off. So, so far I got my orange and my yellow cut and ready. Scooby likes bobsledding, that's a really cool one. That's also something I would love to try. I've never done that either, but it's so cool to watch that I feel like doing it would be a really fun time. Let's see this here. Yes, haven't for years now, but I have in the past. So you have before Nemo, that's really cool. I wonder if you're good enough to go to the Olympics just yet. Maybe if you get back into training, maybe you'll be there. So on that note of Olympic sports, those are my favorite winter ones. In the summer, I love watching the races. The 100 meters, my personal favorite. So that brings me to another question. Do you guys have any favorite Olympic athletes? So for me, I love watching the races. And I love seeing Usain Bolt run because he's so quick. And it's crazy how fast he is. No, you don't think you're ready for the Olympics yet, Nemo? One day, one day. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep on cutting my triangles out here. I'm almost ready to go to my next step once I got them all cut out. So I'll finish off my last one there. And perfect. Ooh, I'm gonna fix up this one just to make it look nice and pretty. Because like I said before, I want to make this the best we can. Because if you guys do this at home, you can all have your personalized Olympic torch that you can have for our Olympic week. And there we go. So now as you can see, I've got my red, my orange, and my yellow all cut out here. Which brings us to the next step. So what we'll be doing is with all the tissue paper here, I'm gonna fix the camera to make sure we can all see. We're gonna overlap them all and get to taping. So you wanna leave a little bit of space between each piece of tissue paper, like so. So as you can see, the red is under the yellow and I'm gonna do the same with the orange now. And there we go. So my orange is a little longer than the rest, which is totally okay. So now that I see that, I'm gonna do a little quick cut to make sure they're all the same size and ready to tape. Awesome. So now that I've done that, 
we'll get into the taping. So you will grab your tape, pull a little piece off, and make sure that they're all taped together. So there we go. Get my yellow and my red taped to each other. And I'll tape my red to my orange. So as you can see, if I hold it up, ooh, right there, it is stuck together and will not come apart. So I'm just going to keep on taping here to make sure they're nice and stuck together because I do not want my torch coming apart. So every few inches here, just put down another piece of tape. So I hope you guys are all having fun following along with this. If not, uh, this will be posted after onto Facebook as a video, so you could do it on your own time. And if you are doing one, please make sure to post it onto social medias and tag us at Greenway Chaplain. I would love to see what you guys are doing, and I would love to see how your torches end up. So I'm just gonna keep on taping here. And while I'm taping, I'll tell you guys a quick fun fact if you'd like to know. So my background is I'm Greek. My mom came to Canada from Greece, which I think is pretty cool. So the Olympics actually happened to be invented in Greece. It happened for the first time in the 1800s, which was a long time ago now, over a hundred years now, which I think is crazy because that was so long ago. But yeah, and they keep on going till today. So I think that's awesome that they've been going on for so long. And it's really cool that they were invented that long ago in a place that I actually have heritage in. So that's really cool to me. So got my taping all done. My flames are almost ready to put together. So I'll show you from the back how it looks. My orange, my red, and my yellow. So now what you want to do is grab your roll and you're gonna want to size it. So what you're gonna do is roll these all up and put them inside your paper towel roll. So make sure they fit, so you don't wanna do it too loose so it doesn't fit in. So what I'm gonna do is start rolling it very carefully. Awesome. So now that you have it rolled, you have it right in your hand, you want to open up the top so you can see all the other colors. Ooh. I'm going to try it a different way. My roll didn't work too much, so I'm just going to crumple them right up together. So I'm going to bring the bottoms together like this, grab it in my hand, and squeeze. There we go. A lot better now. Now it looks a lot more like a flame. So with the toilet paper roll or paper towel roll, whatever you've got at home, you're gonna wanna place it in nice and tight. So for this step, if it's not fitting properly, you can always use glue. You can put it right on the inside of the roll. So when it goes in, it will stick in and will stay. So mine, because I had a nice and tight, fit perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is unravel it so you can see all of my colors give it a little fluff so you can show it off and there we are let's pull up the yellow a little bit more and there is my flame i'm going to move this back a little bit so you can see the whole flame and there you go. So to make it your own, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing really quick. Bring this closer so I can make sure you all hear me. What I'm gonna do to personalize this, if you have any markers at home and you still have your tape that you used before, you can draw right on it 
like I'm about to. You can put any design so you can make it your own. So I'm going to go with a nice little smiley face just to show you guys. I got my smiley face there. Looks really cool. So I want everyone to know this is mine. So if you have any paper nearby, I got a nice little paper. I'm going to write my name nice and big so everyone knows it's my torch. So there we go. I'll take some tape, put it on both sides of my paper, and stick it to my roll. There we go. So as you can see, this is Flo's torch. So if you guys want to do this with your own, add your name on it, design it however you like, whatever you have at home. If you got glitter, if you got markers, um, if you have a space that you can uh, keep neat and tidy, you can do paint, but you know, make sure you don't make a mess because no one likes a mess. And there you go, you will have your own Olympic torch. So I was really excited to do this with you guys today. I had a really fun time. Uh, join us back tomorrow for some more activities. And yeah, um, this is Olympic week again. So all week long, we'll have Olympic theme activities and games for you guys to do. So keep posted to our Facebook, our Instagram for all our announcements to see what we're what we will be doing. And like I said before, if you make one, please post it online on all your social medias. Tag us at Greenway. I would love to see them. So thank you guys for coming. Check us out on all our socials at Greenway Chaplain. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.